morning, Half Moon Bay High School. I'm Lily and this is the Cougar Campus News. Students, you will no longer hear a five minute warning bell during the 10 minute passing period. Please plan accordingly and arrive to your classes on time. The other change to our bell schedule involves advisory. We have changed the bell that rings near the end of the advisory period to now ring five minutes before the end of advisory. Teachers will take attendance at the beginning of advisory as well as the end of advisory. Now, here's Ms. Longcare with an important announcement. Good morning, Cougars. I'm here to tell you about the career exploration series we're having on campus this year. This month on the 28th, which is next Friday, the last Friday of the month during advisory, we're having a panel from industry professionals in the business and finance industry. So they will be here to talk to you about their careers, how they decided on their careers, the education they needed to get there, and what they do. So you will see these flyers around campus. You can scan the QR code and sign up on your phone. You can also sign up through School Loop. I have it posted in the news and I'm gonna email it out to all of you next week as well. Also, if you're not interested in business and finance, these are also around campus. This is the list of topics for the year. You can sign up for any of them that interest you, but I encourage you to go to as many as you can because you never know what you're interested in until you hear more about it and you find out more about it. If you have any questions, Please see myself or Ms. Hoffman. We are here to help. Help leadership celebrate the month of Socktober. Please donate new pairs of socks this month. Please drop off the new pairs of socks to Mr. Jones class A10 or drop in bins in the front office with your advisory teacher's name. Take to the socks. Every advisory class that donates 100 pairs of socks will enjoy a free pizza lunch. Four classes have already won pizza parties. Let's take a look at the top 10 sock donors. Here are the Socktober standings. Please come to GSA Club for fun crafts, games, and a welcoming community. We meet on Mondays during lunch in room D4. Vapescape will meet today at, at lunch in Mr. Olson's room, K11. You must attend the meeting to earn service hours. Our club members, as a reminder, we meet today at lunch in room K12. See you there. Now here's Ms. Baker with an announcement about math tutoring. Tomorrow, if you're interested or need help in math or science, don't forget, we have after school tutoring with Jay and Leo in my classroom G10. So come on by. And if that doesn't work for you and you like to work with them privately, here's how to message them. The varsity football team defeated Menlo in a wild thriller, outscoring the Knights 53-42. Dio Lucido paced the Cougars scoring three touchdowns, and running back PJ Medina rushed for 175 yards and scored two touchdowns. The Cougars racked up over 500 yards on offense. Liam Harrington and Harrison Tobias also scored rushing touchdowns for the Cougars, and Owen Miller had an interception on the defense. The Cougars are now 7-1 overall. The JV came up short as they lost to Menlo, 41-6. Dusty Dimas hooked up with Ronan McCauley on a 50-yard TD pass for the Young Cougars' only score. Both football teams are at home on Friday for the big homecoming game. Here's Mr. Roth with more information. This Friday, 4 o'clock, JV boys football homecoming game. 7 o'clock, varsity homecoming game. Encouraging everybody to come on out. Go Have Cougars! Go, Go Cougars! Cougars. Come on out, have fun, be a part of it. Please do not come onto the field of play. Really want to reiterate that this week. Uh, if player, if fans come onto the field of play, we can lose home games uh, in the playoffs. So have a blast, stay in the stands, and make sure that you know we're there for the whole game. Enjoying it, go Cougars! Are you ready? Ready? We're ready. Are you ready for some football? The girls' varsity volleyball team defeated Carlmont last Thursday night. Mia Etheridge led the team with 17 kills and Jasmine Standis added 9 kills and Gabby Harrison helped out with 7 kills. Connor Black had 27 digs to help anchor the defense. The JV Cougar volleyball team fell to the Carmont Scots in straight sets. 
The Cougar offense was led by Skylar Wilson with three kills and one ace, and Aaron Lesser with three kills. The Cougar defense was led by Kate Billington with nine digs. Well, the answer to our trivia question from last Thursday was the band Blink-182. Congratulations to Mr. V and his advisory period. They were the fastest to answer. And a shout out to Mr. Majora's advisory class. They were the second fastest to reply. Now, today we have a question sent in from Mr. Reardon. And with the big homecoming football game coming up on Friday, the category is Cougar Football History. Watch your email for the question from me and have a terrific Tuesday out there at Moon Bay High School. <laughs>